Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks 217 and welcome back to Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, we were speaking to an imposter. <laughs> uh, we don't know the man's name, but he called himself Director Hottie. And it was interesting, uh, we were at the Hottie Clinic and we found out more about Eni's past. Including the fact that she was in a traffic accident, much like her sister was. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, yes, thank you so much to Pharaoh 2091 who did an amazing job as Director Hottie. His voice for Director Hottie is like my headcanon. I did not want to bother trying to attempt because it was just so bad, my version. Um... And I, I just didn't think anybody else could do the role justice. So thank you so much, Farrah. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's continue on now. Okay. Let's leave. Uh, we're going to have to go back to Karain and confront Eni after everything we just found out. Okay. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah. I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, yeah. So earlier, that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell them. Things are sure getting interesting. Something to tell them? I t huh? Uh-huh. I'm just so confused. Uh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't even realize what she said. <laughs> hey, hold on! What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Ha, really? Well, it's all news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. Because I'm an ace attorney. <laughs> You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? Well, 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 family drama. Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around in that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. But let's talk about this master business. So, I hear the master has always been the oldest daughter. The oldest daughter. Well, that makes sense. Turns out, that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Oh? They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Makes me wonder about Mia, honestly. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Oh, cool. Well, anyway... Somehow, Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like, She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. Almost makes you feel sorry for her, doesn't it? Almost. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, that's uh, interesting info. So, thank you, Lotta. Let's head over to... 
Okay, meditation room. She said she was here. Okay. Oh, Amy, where are you? There she is. Hi! Like, I haven't seen you in a while. Whoa, I completely forgot my voice for her. <laughs> it was like a weird, like, I still had Lada's voice in my mind. Sorry! <laughs> yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? It's scary, huh? Well, you're gonna be more scared in a minute. With my intelligence and superpowers. Woo! Let's go! Bam! 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 <laughs> traffic accident. Okay. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh. Um. Oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. Amy just asked whose accident. Which means... She must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? Oh yeah, I got someone in mind, alright. You! I want to ask you about your own car accident. Me? Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Hold on, where is it? It's one of these. Uh, hold on. I read nightmares. Late last night, two women's car crashed into. I'm not able to escape. Drivers fall asleep at the wheel. Eeny miny. Alright, darn. I got out. I don't like, remember anything else. The one driving the car was her sister. There's a mere coincidence. Okay, it's this one. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? L like, wait. What now? Th that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name. But she's totally not me. My name, Eeny Miney, is like pretty common. What? Well, yeah, lie, you freaking liar! What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Eeny Miney, is in here too. Like, totally? Wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting like goosebumps. Y you think I'm gonna let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Yes, I do. This. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. H huh? So? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director! Uh-huh, she knew who I was talking about. Now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a second. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to this murder. 
Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? Uh, and? That woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Mm. She's so stupid. Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be? Your sister, Mimi Miney. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Miney. Mimi? You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Uh-huh. There we go! Finally. Unlock successful! Let's talk, girl. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. Ooh, this is sad. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. Doesn't even look like her, but okay. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. All right, let's talk about Dr. Gray. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. No kidding. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. Whoa. What are you talking about? What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What are you talking about? What? That's it? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go? Uh, huh. Can't think of anything else. That was weird. Left. That was really uncomfortable. Hmm? Looks like something's up. Uh oh. Suspense music still. S stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Oh dear. It is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Aw, don't make that face! Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol. Again? Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, sorry. You're so stupid to <laughs> come shoot. Why? <laughs> Jeez. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow! Mother! What's going on? Alright, Pearly, talk to me! Mother! This has never happened before! Pearls! Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared! 
I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, right? Anything. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Mm. Let's talk about Maya. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her! Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Aw, Pearl. Her stare is really piercing. Ooh. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. Uh, Alright, um, hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should just end the video. Uh, let's just go start that part and then we'll probably end. Because my throat's hurting. Let's go say hi to Maya. Unless it's a really short part, then I don't have to worry. Let's see. It actually shows the time. That's pretty rare. 6.38 p.m. Oh, baby! You are here! <laughs> You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Why is she Maya? I mean, Mia. That's weird. Mia. So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Yeah, it is. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few psych locks of her own. Uh-oh. Yep. Mia. I'm going to get the last piece of information I need. Sure. I welcome you to try. Oh, snap, yo. She pretty much just said, bring it. Bring it. <laughs> And we will be bringing it in the next episode. I am tired. I need a rest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.